Have you been looking for a good cash envelope wallet to carry around with you? I know it took me a while to figure out which one was right for me. And so I thought I would share what's working for me and how it may work for you too, all in this video. Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Wendy Coop and this is the Savvy Brown Girl channel where we do budgeting and cash stuffing. And like I said in today's video, we're going to talk about cash envelope uh, wallets, specifically this one from the three-way cut store that I got from Amazon. So let's get started. So first you'll see that it's pink, which is a lovely color, but it does come in other colors like black, brown, I think it comes in red, green, a couple other colors. There's like uh, seven colors it comes in, okay? So there's probably a color right for you. But I also wanted to tell you that it comes with these um, budget tracking sheets so that you can, let me turn it around, so that you can see what the category is, what month it is. You can see that I haven't done this since August. I'm not very good at keeping up with that. But this is very handy information for tracking your expenses within specific envelope categories. Now, this wallet comes with 12 tabbed cash envelopes. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them in here. Um, I started off with just six and added a couple more. But um, you can put all 12 in if you like. You can put as many or as few in as you want. Um, but like the first one is my groceries. As you can see, there's still money in there because I haven't bought groceries yet. Um, and then I just put one of these budget tracking sheets in front of each of the envelopes. But again, I really haven't been using the tracking sheets since August, so I'll probably um, take them out because in all honesty, when I want to know how much money is in the envelope, I just take the cash out to see how much money is in the envelope. And to this, I have added an envelope that I made with some uh, cardstock paper and, that I got from Hobby Lobby and uh, I just laminated it. And so this is my Save a Human envelope. So I just stuck the money in there, fits perfectly within this envelope or this wallet, which I believe is A6 size, if you're looking to punch holes. And um, if you're looking for dimensions, I believe it's A6 size, same size as my uh, binder here. So if I wanted to take an envelope out of here and put it in my wallet, I can and vice versa. And we'll talk about that budget binder in another video. Um, so these, this is just a regular A6 size envelope that I had that was blank that I wrote car maintenance on. And then this is one of those envelopes that came from the binder that I just showed you. I love it because it's zippered, which meant I could keep a few coins in here from when I emptied the emergency envelope. Uh, I live in Northeast Florida and we've had a couple of tropical storms slash hurricanes come through in the last month or so. So um, the emergency money that was in this envelope got depleted for hurricane supplies. So um, looking to build that back up. I obviously took my ID out of, <laughs> out of the wallet pocket. Um, but one of the reasons I love this wallet is because it's got so many card slots. Now, whether you still use credit cards or whether you have membership cards or I other ID cards that you need, um, it is still helpful. So I have, let's see, you can see that. So I have some cards in here and then I have some, you know, other ID cards here. This is, I love this America the Beautiful card. It's the card that I, I get as a, that's my military pass to go to any uh, national park. Um, so if you are military and you're watching this video or you're a veteran and you're watching this video and you have not gotten your free pass to go to the national parks, definitely, definitely do that. Um, it saves a ton of money and it is a great way to honor your service. So anyway, back to the envelope. So I've got a zipper pocket here. A lot of times, like you can see that there's change in there. That's usually what happens with this zippered pocket. I could put other bills 
gift cards in here, things that I typically, that I may not necessarily put in an envelope. I also typically keep receipts according to the envelope. I don't always stick them inside the envelope. I may stick them in front of the envelope. So all the gas receipts typically sit here. Um, coffee shop receipts typically sit here. There's also a another pocket here. I haven't used it for anything, but you could stick paper in there. You could stick receipts in there. And there's a pen uh, holder as well, which again, because I haven't been using the budget tracking sheets, I haven't kept a pen in here, um, but you could if you wanted to. But that's basically the deal with this particular wallet. Now, when you choose a wallet, you wanna look at its capacity to hold the envelopes that you need on a daily basis. Um, I'm usually the one doing the grocery shopping, which is why I have the grocery envelope. Um, this gas envelope is specific for me. My husband has his own way of keeping track of the gas money. Um, same thing with household, same thing with eating out, stuff I forgot. This is usually, you know, me doing the expenses, which is why my husband does not have the envelopes. He does not carry a cash wallet like this. He carries a regular, you know, folding wallet. The other consideration is the ability to add in envelopes that you want or need, especially if you want to make some envelopes on your own. This one was pretty simple to make. Um, and, and I'm not crafty <laughs> at all, guys, which is why I buy the stuff already made. So this one was pretty easy to make. Um, and it allows me to keep, uh, to not have to fold my money, which I really don't like having to do. And then the last thing to consider is how many card slots you need. Obviously, these are not all credit and debit card slots, but, um, or cards in my, you know, in my thing, like my library card is in here, my Sam's Club card is in here. But the point is, is that um, you need the wallet to be sufficient to carry around on a daily basis. And for me, that ticks all the boxes. So I get the envelopes, I get the extra capacity, and I don't have to worry about leaving any particular cards home because there wasn't enough room, and there clearly is. And it zippens up kind of slim, pretty slim, and I could actually fit a ton more things in here um, if I wanted to, additional gift cards, um, more cash, more envelopes. So this is a great wallet. Again, this is by Three Way Cut, and I will put the link to, as usual, to this wallet in the description below so that you can pick up one for yourself or for others. Um, like I said in the previous video, my mom has this wallet. Um, I'm getting something similar for my sisters for Christmas. Shh, don't tell them <laughs> in case they're watching this video. Um, but I just, I believe in this wallet so much that I'm willing to give it as a gift. So I'm willing to tell you to try it as well. Um, as always, if you have a comment about this wallet or any other wallet, or if there's a particular wallet you want me to review, let me know in the comment section below, or you can DM me or tag me on Instagram at Savvy Brown Girl. So that's all I have for you today. That's my review of the three-way cut cash envelope wallet, all in one budget system. Um, again, it comes with 12 tabbed envelopes, 12 budget cards, a yearly budget planning sheet, which I didn't even show you because I don't know where it is right now. Um, but <laughs> it came with all the things that you need to get started. So um, hopefully this is helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video with other people who it might help as well. With that, talk to you later. Bye.